So that leaves me with 2 square root of 6 divided by the square root of 2 is equal to L. So just like over here, where we simplified and did 4 divided by 2 because those two are the outside, we can do the same thing with radicals in the numbers on the inside. So I can go 2 times the square root of 6 divided by 2 is going to be equal to L. So 2 square root of 6 divided by 2 is 3 is equal to L. And there's our answer. Looking at the next type of special right triangle we're going to talk about is a 30-60-90 triangle. And when you're looking at this, so there's your 30, there's your 60, there's your 90. The short leg, which is opposite of the 30 degree angle, is going to be our X. So there's our short leg. And then the long leg, which is this one across from the 60, because 60 is bigger than 30, um, is going to be X square root of 3. And then our hypotenuse is going to be 2x. And um, the way that I remember this whenever I have to do this on my own is I remember I've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And then I remember I've got an x, x square root of 3, and then 2x. So as long as you remember all of these parts and our triangle um, theorem that says there's a direct relationship between an angle and the side opposite it, you just got to line up whatever sides go with the matching angle. So if you look at square root of 3, square root of 3 is like 1.7 stuff, so this is really, and this is a 1x, so you've got 1x, 1.7x, and 2x. So this is going to be the smallest value, the smallest value across from the smallest angle is x. This is going to be the next value, so the next biggest angle value is 60, so that's the x square root of 3. And then the 2x is always going to be across from the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is across from the 90 degree angle, which is the biggest. So that's how I remember how to line them up. Okay. And whenever you do these problems, just like we did with the 45, 45, 90 triangle, you're going to want to line them, um, you're going to want to set up your rule as you're solving. So I find my 30 degree angle, and that's going to be my x. Then I find my 60 degree angle, that's going to be my x square root of 3. And then my 90 is going to be my 2x. And then I go from there. They want me to find y. y is equal to x square root of 3. Well, it would be really nice to know what x is. We have x over here. So this is going to be y is equal to 10 square root of 3. And that's our answer. And with these, you really couldn't use Pythagorean theorem because you have to have at least two values in order to use Pythagorean theorem to find the third. And this one, you really do have to use the special right triangle rules in order to be able to solve for those sides. Okay, so looking at the next one. Here's my 30 degree angle. So that's going to be x. Here's my 60, which is going to be x square root of 3. And then there's my 90, which is going to be 2x. They want me to find a. Well, a is equal to x square root of 3. It would really be nice to know what x is. They could tell us. So a is going to be equal to x is square root of 2, square root of 3. So they're both on the inside, so I can multiply them together using our radical rules. So our a is going to be equal to square root of 6. Okay. Looking at d, there's my 30, there's my x, there's my 60, there's my x square root of 3. And there's my 90, so that's going to be my 2x. So there's d, 2x. What is x? x is going to be 2 square root of 2. So d is going to be equal to 2 times 2 square root of 2. So this 2 is on the outside of a radical, so it can only multiply to the things outside of the radical. So d is going to be equal to 2 times 2 is 4 square root of 2. Okay. Looking at our next example, they want us to find C. And if I line up my rule, there's my 30, so there's my X. There's my 60, there's my X square root of 3, there's my 90, so this is going to be my 2X. They want us to find C, which is X. Well, there's X up there. And I'm picking this one because this is the one they give us a value for. So in order to get the X by itself there, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So x is going to be equal to the 10s outside the radical, or the square root, 
and the 2 is also outside the square root, so I can do 10 divided by 2 is 5 square root of 3, so that's my x. C is going to be equal to 5 square root of 3. Looking at the next one, there's my 30, so that's going to be my x. There's my 60, that's going to be my x square root of 3. And there's my 90, so this is going to be my 2x. They want the value for n right here. So in order to get that, I need to know what x is. The only other place they give me a value is right here with the 18, so I'm going to use this one to get x by itself. Got to divide both sides by 2. So x is going to be equal to 9. So n is going to be equal to 9 square root of 3. Looking at the next example, they tell us we've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle, so I'm going to draw that before I even get started reading what it wants me to do. 30, 60, 90, and it says the hypotenuse is 24, so there's my hypotenuse, 24. Now I'm going to set up the rule. So there's my 30, so that's going to be x. There's my 60, so x square root of 3. There's my 90, so this is going to be 2x. And it wants the longer leg. So again, you got to remember those triangle rules. So there's the 30, there's the 60. Those are both legs. The way you tell which one long is longer is which one is across from the larger angle. So 60 is larger than 30, so this is going to be the angle. That, or sorry, this is going to be the side that they want us to solve for. Okay. So in order to do that, I need to know what x is. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 x is going to be equal to 12, so then I plug that in, 12 square root of 3, and there's our value for the longer leg.